proud family members and parents, distinguished guests, my esteemed faculty colleagues, and most importantly, our incredible graduates. Good morning and welcome to the December 2023 Winter Completion Ceremony for the Duke University School of Nursing. As the Interim Dean of the School of Nursing, it is my honor to stand before you today as we gather to celebrate the achievements, hard work, and dedication of today's exceptional graduates. Please join me in congratulating them on achieving this milestone. I would also like to acknowledge and personally thank the many individuals who helped bring today's ceremony to fruition. In particular, I would like to recognize Ms. Beebe Mills, the Registrar of the School of Nursing, and Ms. Lindsay Johnson, Student Record Co Records Coordinator, for their extraordinary leadership in organizing today's event. We also... <laughs> We also know that the graduates here today could, have not, could not have gotten to this point without the encouragement and support of those committed to seeing them succeed. Thank you to all the family, friends, spouses, significant others, and countless others who are joining us today or, or who are here in spirit for the important roles that you've played in supporting today's graduates to achieve both their personal and professional goals. I would ask the graduates to stand, turn around, and if you can find the people that helped you achieve today, wave to them and thank them as well. Again, welcome to the December 2023 com completion ceremony. Congratulations to our graduates, and thank you to all for being with us this morning. It is now my privilege to introduce today's graduation speaker. Adrian Sapienza, a primary care pediatric nurse practitioner graduate from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. She has a Bachelor of Science from the University of Pittsburgh, a Bachelor of Liberal Arts from Duquesne University, and an Associates in Nursing from the Community College of Beaver County. Besides being a highly motivated graduate, Adrian has exemplified leadership and commitment to others through her journey here at Duke School of Nursing. Impressively, she was invited to the Biden White House after writing a letter advocating for children's health services as part of a class assignment. Yesterday, I had the privilege of preventing, presenting Adriana with a certificate and a medal of, of recognition for being selected by the Faculty Governance Association as today's student speaker. So please join me in welcoming Adrian Sapienza to the podium. Good morning, Interim Dean Ralph, staff, distinguished guests, faculty, family, friends, and the graduating class of 2023. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak with you today. Graduates, I imagine you've all been asked the question, why nursing? And each has their own story to share. Today, I was asked my, to share my story and the path that has led me here. Now, I think I can speak for most of us when I say we have a love for helping others. As nurses, we often see people at their worst. We hold their hands through sickness and health, through the anger and tears, and handle all sorts of bodily fluids. Most of us would agree that it is an honor to help people in these moments. Nursing is more than a job. It is who we are, and it is our purpose. Now, as beautiful as it is, nursing is hard. Whether you were started school during the pandemic or directly after it, all of us decided to dive further into healthcare rather than walk away from it. COVID-19 exposed many cracks within the healthcare system, especially in nursing. But all of us here decided to run towards the hurdles, even if that meant catching the occasional stumble. We got up and kept going, knowing that in our field, there is no true end of the race. There's no slowing down. A global pandemic, civic unrest, and an evolving climate crisis continue to bring unprecedented challenges to the healthcare system. 
And while many people may let these events dampen their outlook on the future, all of you here today have chosen to go out and embrace the challenge to better the lives of individuals, communities, and the world. But when faced with such uncertainty, it is important to remember why we chose this path. Your why or your purpose is what motivates you to finish your degree, to get through losing your first patient, to wake up early for another 12 hour shift, to try to balance clinical rotations, a family, schoolwork, and working your regular job. For all of us, our why is our power. Now we will all likely fail at certain times in our lives and our career but your why will help, help us through our biggest struggles. Failure and is an inevitable part of success because it is what you do with that failure that leads to a successful outcome. I'd like to share one of my biggest failures and how my love for nursing got me through this dark time. It even led me to the White House in Capitol Hill and has brought me here to Duke where I stand before you all today. I was diagnosed with type one diabetes at age three. Though I don't remember much from this time, I do know I wouldn't be who I am today without my family, especially my parents. At a young age, they instilled in me healthy habits, independence, and strength, all while allowing me to be a kid. As I got older, I realized how lucky I was to have a family that had the knowledge and resources to keep me healthy. Unfortunately, not every child is lucky enough to have the same. Watching other kids sitting in the same waiting room as me have different outcomes felt unfair. I wanted more than anything to change that. This became my why. I have cultivated my purpose in being an ally, educator, resource, provider, and friend to my parents and their families. Fast forward to when I was an undergraduate at another university. My fall semester, I ended up failing all of my courses and was kicked out of school. I was ill and due to complications from my diabetes was in the intensive care unit. I ended up missing classes and midterms. The day I returned to class, a professor handed me my midterm despite numerous emails and said to me, you did not register with the disability services, so it's not my problem. I'd never felt like such a failure. I felt powerless and felt the effects of health inequity. I did not believe I had a disability, but was being punished for something I couldn't control. My confidence was shaken. I questioned my worth, my knowledge, and the ability to be in healthcare. I binge watched the entire Criminal Mind show and thought maybe I'll join the FBI. That's still helping people. <laughs> but as the fog lifted with the help of family and friends, I, know, I knew I couldn't walk away from what I felt like my purpose was. To all the family and friends here today who have helped us all through our darkest moments, we thank you. We would not be here today without all of you. I returned that spring semester and graduated on time with an above 3.0 GPA, which according to my academic advisor was impossible. And with this victory, I realized our biggest failures can bring on success if you keep focusing on your purpose. Without this failure, I don't know if I would be as passionate about reducing health disparities. Although my experience was minor into what many go through, once you feel disadvantaged because of your health, it changes you. This change in passion are what brought me to Duke, a university that prides itself on nursing ex excellence and advancing health equity. I am proud to be a part of a school with a vision that aligns with my own and to surround myself with wonderful students who want to change the world. Once I got to Doosan, my purpose was further cultivated in a direction I could have never imagined. In the first semester of the MSN Pediatric Primary Care Program, we were required to take a population health class which showcased health inequities in the US despite living in a resource rich country. This new knowledge along with my why inspired me to write an emotional letter to President Biden about the current state of the American healthcare system with a focus on insulin prices which can be up to $800 for a month supply. To my surprise, my grammatically incorrect and emotional letter landed me an invitation to the White House for a celebration of the Affordable Care Act. This has led me to become interested in pursuing policy to improve health care. And since then, I've had the opportunity to advocate policy changes at Capitol Hill. This would have not been possible without my knowledge I received from Duke, the failure I experienced, or my why. I tell you this story because I, I encourage you all to tell yours. Do not be afraid of your passion, of your why, or to tell others of your failures. It makes you stronger, and it makes you a better nurse by highlighting your resiliency. You never know where your story will take you. 
As nurses, we have many potential avenues to take. Maybe you're motivated to pursue policy like me, or be at the bedside with some of the sickest patients, or work in rural parts of the country providing health care to those who do not have access, or developing technology to advance tomorrow's health care. Despite the avenue you choose, remember your why, embrace your failures, and along with the education received at Duke, you all will be leaders. We came to Doosan to become leaders in healthcare and to be taught by top nursing experts. The Duke experience goes far beyond the classroom. It is the environment that offers students the ability to grow into who they are meant to be. Many of us have found mentors throughout the program that have helped guide our path. I looked to Dr. Melinda Teague and Dr. Ann Derwin and remember gushing to my family, can you believe they're gonna be teaching me? And I can't think of the countless emails and phone conversations where I'd start off by saying, I'm freaking out. And Dr. Teague's soothing voice would remind me to take a deep breath and everything will be okay. We'll figure it out. And Dr. Derwin has a way of making you feel invincible, saying, you're awesome, you got this. <laughs> to be an alumni of one of the most respected school of nursing in the country is something to be proud of. We will always be connected and continue to find support at Duke. But graduates, there is something I want you to keep in mind. Sometimes it can, become, it can be daunting coming from a well-renowned institution. I've heard many friends say, what if I'm not great, but people expect me to be great because I'm from Duke? This is something I question within myself. Voices of inadequacy can be loud, but let your strengths and education be louder. You have great potential. That is why you're all here today. We, we are the legacy of Duke. It is what each one of you have done and will continue to do by being a leader, by challenging the everyday norm, and striving for better that creates the legacy for Duke. You are what makes the difference. You are what makes the name. So graduates, remember your why, embrace your failures, and do not be afraid of uncertainty. Go out today and create the world you want to live in tomorrow. Thank you. Adrian, thank you for sharing your why and your personal experience. I look forward to the day that you're walking the halls of Congress, in the governor's office, or in the Oval Office, because I think that's where your trajectory is leaded. But thank you for your words of inspiration. At this time, we will move to the presentation of the graduates, and I'd like to welcome and invite Dr. Valerie Sable to announce this year's program graduates for Hooding. But first, I would like to personally thank and acknowledge Dr. Sable for her year plus term as interim vice dean to our school. She did so with grace and perseverance and commitment to always doing the right thing. So Dr. Sable, a heartfelt thank you. Thank you, Dean Ralph. It is my pleasure to present the graduates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree. These graduates have been prepared to lead in the healthcare system of the future. They will evaluate current practices, looking for opportunities for improvement, and they will bring solutions to the gaps in care. Each DNP graduate will come forward and be hooded today with the assistance from Dr. Mary Lou Affronte assistant dean of the DNP program and also their scholarly project chair. Please hold your applause until all DNP graduates have been recognized. Eric Akawu. Congratulations, Dr. Akawu.
Gayatri Singh. Congratulations, Dr. Singh. Jessica Balastaros Holmes. Congratulations, Dr. Ballesteros Holmes. Leanne M. Bushmeyer. Congratulations, Dr. Bushmeyer. Catherine Ann Chile. Congratulations, Dr. Chile. Savannah Maria Henderson. Congratulations, Dr. Henderson. Ket Son Vildor. Congratulations, Dr. Vildor. Diana Emery Williams. Congratulations, Dr. Williams. Kevin David Cox. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Cox. Olukorede Jisarin. Congratulations, Dr. Jasharwin. Amy Kale. Congratulations, Dr. Kale. Oluwakemi Smith. Congratulations, Dr. Smith. Jennifer Key Foreman.
Congratulations, Dr. Foreman. Kristen Osborne. Congratulations, Dr. Osborne. Jennifer Knezevich. Congratulations, Dr. Knezevich. Catherine Bison Sullivan. Congratulations, Dr. Sullivan. Muna Basun. Congratulations, Dr. Basun. Eric Companioni. Congratulations, Dr. Campanioni. Amanda Stephanie Cassidy. Congratulations, Dr. Cassidy. Sarah Elizabeth Evans. Congratulations, Dr. Evans. Therese Marie Hudson Jinks. Congratulations, Dr. Hudson Jinks. Amanda Eltz. Congratulations, Dr. Eltz. Jason Wyndham Kidd. That's, I think that's it. Congratulations, Dr. Kidd. This concludes the hooding of our DNP graduates. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to present the graduates for the Masters of Science in Nursing and Certificate Awardees. These remarkable graduates are prepared to deliver exemplary health care as advanced practice nurses and as leaders and innovators within our health care systems across the nation and the globe. They will serve as role models and educators to nurses, health professionals, and students of the future. Graduates will be greeted by Dr. Benjamin Small here, Assistant Dean of the MSN program 
and also the director of the major. Please hold your applause until all MSN graduates and certificate awardees have been recognized. Allison Jean Broncato. Carolyn Renee Gardner. Nicholson. Kelly Alejandra Perez. Melissa Shepard. Megan Snow. Catherine Victoria Tomway Thompson. Caitlin Danielle West. Amanda Rose Asante. Maria Coyne. Bill Elmer. Jennifer Keller. Stephanie Allison McLean. Pennington. Alyssa Walker. Joy Adeku. Rachel Johanna. Fletcher Carton.
Nancy Lee Cassing. Nicole Diane Gray. Madeline McKinney. Anjavi Sharma. Westland Carly Wilkinson Amanda Williams Angela Dawn Beal. Emily Versich. Brianna Lee Kittredge. Selena McClellan. Amanda Sarawa Thornton. Twin Huynh. Sheridan Michaela Jones. Edward Keating. Don Lofton Sarah Elizabeth Mass Nicole Spencer Svetlana Zotman Israelovsky. Olawe Waju Olagunju. Shelby Welsh Lauren Zorowski Hannah Ruth Beckman Kathleen Bailey (laughs) 
Courtney K. Frazier. Alicia Piper Kelsey Lynn Popovinak Grace Ramundi Jacqueline Marie Santos Sarah Jean Smith Natalie Blackwood Michelle Gallo Maria Marie Huds Hansen Brendetta Huffman Rowe Madeline Manfredi Brianna Michelle Nolan Chelsea Raynor mm -hmm. 
Natalie Sheffo. Haley Jean Strickland. Sylvia Erica Arabia. Joanna May Babon. Kimberly Ellis Barron. Kaylee Brank. Tiffany Green. Bilach Hassan Diva. Ilea Phyllis Edwards. Adrian Sapienza. Aston. Rosalie Hatfield. Claire Hammond. Alexi Massey. Desi Price. Aaron Cole Shiamji. Kimberly Tatum Moyer. Rachel Lynn Wagner. Victoria Lynn Acker. Vida Jamfi. Dr. Shelley Jane McClure.
Candace Martindale. Catherine Elizabeth Brock. This concludes the recognition of MS graduates and certificate awardees. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to begin the presentation of graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Graduates will be greeted by Dr. Stephanie Gedzik nyman Interim Assistant Dean of the ABSN program. As each student's name is read, they will be presented with their Duke University School of Nursing pin. This gold pin serves as a symbolic welcome to the nursing profession and achievement of program completion. Please try to hold your applause until all ABSN graduates have been recognized. Madeline Gledhill. Kristen Elizabeth A. Harsh. Mackenzie Marie Anderson. Heidler. Alexa Bird. Mabel Buckner. Aminata Kamara. Here we go. Mar 
Marley Christine Chase. Sabrina Chen. Abigail Lee Stout Chesler. Grace Ellen Chisholm. Kaylin Elizabeth Cosgrove. Ashley DeCamp. Harry Julianne Donahue. Abigail Elizabeth Ellis. Tanya Fleck Falconer. Haley Kate Franzen. Carson Haley Fuller. Alejandra Garcia. Lillian Marie Guys. Shannon Margaret Giles. Danielle Teresa Gooden. Matthew Guevara. Grace Hammerland. Janacia Hardy Harden. Maisha Hassan. William Wright Hatcher the third. Melissa Hep. Jacqueline Marie Winfrey Hogan. Allison Wren. Amanda Hume. Brian Matthew Hill. 
Hillebrock. Virginia Little Johnson. Madeline Cannell. Ashley Bella Kutras. Anna Lee. Lexi Leibowitz. Natha Medina Little Crow. Haley Elise Lynch. Hannah Lorraine Mace. Tatiana Mancera. <laughs> Greta Elizabeth Marcosha. <laughs> Carrie Mason. Sierra Renee Mitchell. Lauren Mraz. Carolyn Richter Nelson. Jessica Newman. Dolmary Peralta. Brianna Nikita Perry. Olivia Allender Phillips. Samantha Pires. Ruxar Rafiq. Riley Dries.
Gabrielle Christina Rodriguez. Cassandra Sam. Carrie Grace Shields. Juliana Page Simon. Hannah Marie Sparber. Kyla Takub. Brian Thomason. Haley Trudeau. Nancy Tran Shu Tron. Hannah Claire Yusi. Bren Woods. Matthew Rublevsky. Alyssa Yancey. That concludes the ABSN pinning. Congratulations. I now invite Dean Ralph back to the podium. We'll wait just a moment for the last few graduates to return to their seats, but I think we can do better than that as we give them another round of applause. Graduates, as you go forward, I hope that you will reflect on today's ceremony. Whether you're beginning your career in the coming weeks, or you're assuming a new role because of your educational endeavors here at Duke School of Nursing, I encourage you to take with you and demonstrate and celebrate the Doosan values of excellence, integrity, collaboration, respect, innovation, and diversity and inclusion. These values are pivotal to helping members of the Doosan community fulfill our mission to advance health equity and social justice. As you begin the next journey in your personal and professional career, please step forward to lead, to foster innovation, to challenge the status quo, and to use your voice as expertise makes a difference. I am excited to see how you will operationalize the education and training that you received here at Duke. And I'm confident and I look forward to seeing the creation of impactful nurse-led programs that transform healthcare delivery, 
mitigate health inequities and the harmful social determinants of health, and improve health outcomes for individuals, family, families, and communities, both here in the United States and across the globe. The challenges you will face are many, and at many times may seem daunting. But please remember, the most profound growth often occurs in the face of adversity. Your education here at Duke School of Nursing has prepared you not just to navigate these challenges, but to overcome and to lead during these, these times with both grace and resilience. To you, I offer a heartfelt congratulations to the winter class of 2023, and I look forward to following your accomplishments and successes. I know that your futures are bright. Finally, I want to thank all the faculty, staff, and volunteers who brought today's ceremony to, to um, fruition. I'd also like to thank Laura Byrne, who provided the background heart music during the ceremony. Thank you. As the ceremony comes to a close, I invite you to join us back at the Doosan School of Nursing the Christine Siegler um, Pearson Building for a reception. The reception will begin shortly after the ceremony and continue until 2 p.m. But graduates, I wish you the best. Have a bright future. Thank you for helping to fulfill our mission wherever your nursing career takes you. I wish you the best. Again, to the families and friends who supported you along the way, thank you and congratulations. And at this time, the Nightingales will step forward, and we ask you to stand as they sing the Duke University alma mater. <laughs> 